All right, it's back day, day 68 on the natural bulk. We're up 20 kilo from last week on conventional deadlifts. We did 190 for six sets of six last week. We're doing 210 kilo this week for six sets of six. So a big jump, big 20 kilo jump. In 10, in about nine weeks, I want to peak for about 280 kilo for a single. So we're up 20 kilo already, which is a big jump. Um, but remember, I've been doing snatch grip deadlifts and stiff leg deadlifts for the majority of this bulk. I haven't been doing conventional. Last week was the first week back on conventional. This is the second week back on conventional. So starting off with heavy, heavy deadlifts. These two tens not heavy. I've already, I've already done one set, felt pretty easy. Five more sets of six. This is not heavy in comparison to what I'm going to be doing soon. In about two weeks, I'm going to be at 240 kilo. So we're just building up slow, slowly, getting the central nervous system primed. But yeah, starting off this back day with, with um, deadlifts. Greatest back exercise in the world for me. I'm a power bodybuilder, so I do power, power lifting and bodybuilding. For me, this is great, not just for power lifting and strength, but great for bodybuilding, great for thickness in the back. Let's get it anyway. Second set of six, 210. Piece of piss. Probably could have pulled that for for a 20 piece on a deficit. On a that's a joke, man. That's a fucking insult, coach. Fuck you for programming me this. I've got a coach, man. I don't like him. Coach, you're a piece of shit, coach. Fuck it. I'm going 300. I'm going to chuck 300 next set for a set of 10. I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. No, that was a good, comfortable set, man, comfortable set. Real comfortable. Remember, it's only week two, so I'm not going crazy heavy with the weight. Just priming the technique, priming the form, getting used to the rhythm of conventional deadlifts again. I'm working my way up. I'll do another four sets here, and then on to barbell rows. All right, second exercise. I did these for the first time last week. Take all the weight off the bar and just pull up against the rack. These are a great way to overload the muscle without going near maximal weight. I'm gonna do three reps of eight to 10 second pauses here. If you've never done these, I recommend giving them a try. I tried them for the first time last week, felt great. These are another weapon in the arsenal that's gonna help me deadlift 300 kilo, which is my goal for this bulk. Crazy time under tension. Those are harder than the deadlift set I've just done. Six sets of six on 210 was, wasn't as hard as that. 
you think about it, you're pulling more weight doing those than you would be doing sub-maximal weight. Those are fucking hard, man. They look a lot harder than they are. So they look a lot easier than they are. Very painful. I'll do one more set here. I've already done two sets and then on to the next exercise. Okay, now I'm on to my, my rowing movement. Every workout I do one rowing movement. At least one rowing movement and at least one pull down. This block, I've just started this block, second week on the block, with the new block on this bulk. This block, I'm doing typical barbell rows with very good form, slight pause at the top and a two second negative. Last block I did seal rows as my main rowing movement. This block it is barbell rows. For me, barbell rows, great exercise for thickness, for building the back, for building a real thick, dense, I don't know if dense is the right word, but real thick, real thickness. You look at all the great bodybuilders, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, they did heavy fucking rows, man. They would lo load up the row and do like 405, at least 405. Ronnie Coleman did like 600 pound rows. I'm not quite doing 600 pounds here. I'm doing, um, I'm going a little bit lighter. Like I'm only doing 90 kilo, but really focusing on the form and the contraction at the top, slight pause at the top. I could probably load up 120, 140 kilo here and swing it with a bit of body English but I'm going a bit lighter, 90 kilo, and really focusing on perfecting the technique and the execution. I'm gonna do three sets of 12 here on 90 keys. Or I'm making gyros. So much for all these heroes. The numbers are good with me as long as it's comma to zero, 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 zero. Pass that glass of the vino. If a girl try to take my Rolex, to buy some Valentino. I tell baby M what she did to the kid that I line her like emo. She didn't wrap my clothing line when we had one shirt to go with the jeans though. Young man like me and Clint can afford those with like Gran Torino. Good. Crocodile tissue ain't even crying. Why you swear to God? You don't even believe in Christ. What are you saying what are you for? You ain't been on your team, you been eating swine. No, I ain't no man in your dreams. Now you wish that you stayed with your previous guy. It used to be three point fives. Now I can sell out the old to arena twice. But ask what the feel looks like. Don't believe all the media hype. Like 80% of these people lying. Who can ask that I need advice? I've got to work hard, this new provides. Even white beast with a feature on look. What goes up? Really feeling those great contraction, getting that mind to muscle. Every exercise, man. It's not just about moving weight; it's about mind to muscle. Connect with the movement. If you can't connect with the movement, and really get your mind inside the inside those muscle fibers, probably going too fucking heavy. Drop the weight and focus on moving the weight in a way that adheres to muscle growth. Anyone can move a weight point A to B. How many guys can do it in such a fashion that it delivers muscle growth and it tears those fibers? That's what we want here, guys. All right, see you at the next exercise. Last exercise, I'm gonna go for a neutral grip machine pull down. I did these last week, I've got pain in my left shoulder, I explained that last week, I've still got pain there from seal rows on the last block when I couldn't re-rack it properly, it pulled down on my left shoulder and I got a slight bit of pain there, not an injury, I don't want to call it an injury, I don't call it that. Injuries are things that stop you training, I don't have an injury, it's, it's a slight ooh and owie and you have to work around it so ideally I'd like to go far heavier on this but I can't, Just the, the pain is, is very severe but I'm doing the best I can and trying to execute the movement as well as possible, irrespective of the, of the injury. You've got to keep, you, not the injury, sorry, the, uh, the ooh and owie that I've got. You've just got to push through it and keep going. Don't use injuries as a reason to stop training. A lot of people do.
All right, that's the workout, guys. Another tough day in the yard. Had a better night's sleep last night, which is good. On Monday, yesterday, didn't have a good night's sleep before, so my chest session yesterday really suffered, but still got it done. Having a good night's sleep really helps. Really got to get my sleeping in order as quick as possible. But that's the workout, guys. You gotta love this shit, man. You gotta enjoy it. You gotta show up and put, put the work in and make it a lifestyle. There's no 10 week fix. There's no 12 week fix. There's no four month fix. There's none of this shit. You either do this for the rest of your life or don't bother coming. Embed it into your way of living. Become one with the gym. All right, guys. That's the workout. Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, signing off. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And as always, long live King Charles III and God bless Sir Winston Churchill.